the idea of rap being in its origins, especially as my mother talked about them in Japan, was really more about functionality, thoughtfulness toward the other person. It wasn't necessarily about the gift itself. She always expressed to me that in Japanese culture, some of the most beautiful things are never really seen, they're really felt. And it's through those feelings that you can really see someone's intention. And I think that's really the basis for my rapping ideas. So what I'd like to do is bring that intention back into the picture. My space is really a reflection of my love for repurposing. A lot of these things that are around me are things that I found at flea markets or on the streets. <laughs> We have this tendency to throw away things, throw away talent, but we all have the potential to be reinvented, repurposed, bring other parts of ourselves out. And I think through my gift wrapping, I always seem to show that things that might not seem to have value on the outside can be creatively repurposed to something useful, something beautiful, just as we all have that potential in us as well. I live in one of the most beautiful cities in the world, so inspiration is everywhere for me. It's endless. What I love about the Sutra Baths is that it's the remains of a public bath house of the 19th century. It's beautiful as it is, as a ruin, but it still continues to live on. Gift wrapping is a vehicle, really, of expression, of an intention, a thought, a sense of gratefulness that you want to express. And so long as you have those things, it really comes out in what you create.